Survivor Australia here in the States um, was the second season. And the first season was such a talked about, huge, uh, amazing, unpredicted success that Survivor 2 did almost as well. Huge viewership. Really, people came into it and uh, still didn't quite understand what it took to win the game, what needed to happen. And so these concepts of villain, uh, etc., were rampant. And I clearly was perceived as a villain. People just didn't understand that the rules of the game were outwit, outplay, outlast, and what that took. Jerry on Survivor Australia was automatically perceived as a villain. And being a woman and being perceived as a villain, I'm sure took its toll differently from being a guy. Just like in the ways that you might say or you might hear people talk about with a little bit of a smirk. You know, I, I don't know, he might have slept with a hundred chicks. Is different from how you might hear or hear people talk about, oh, she might have slept with a hundred guys or so. There's a very, very different perception of men versus women in different scenarios. So survivor villain Jerry, I think, probably had a rough go of it. At the finale, the audience live really began to heckle her, Jerry. And I stood up and asked them to knock it off, quieted them down, and talked to them briefly about what it is to be doing the show and to be perceived in a particular way when you were doing what you should have done on the show and how unfair it was for them to kind of react to the point of it being by me perceived to be harmful to this person who had feelings and um, really was bothered by not being, by being so misunderstood. And I think Jerry, well, I know Jerry appreciated that. She thanked me for it. Uh, but the point is that the audience is going to perceive you in whatever way they perceive you, and you really almost aren't real to them. The people in the audience who were heckling her and making awful comments right there, live in the finale, in the uh, reunion show for season two of Survivor, probably aren't mean-spirited people who would talk that way to anyone in their real lives. But they don't think of her as a real person. They didn't think of her as a real person. They, they think of us as characters. And at that time, I'm sure they felt they were just being part of what it was that we all were then. And they were expressing their emotions and their venom in ways that you just wouldn't do in, in a in a head-to-head, face-to-face uh, -face talk where you cared about someone's feelings. So it's an interesting dynamic, and Jerry on uh, season two Australia uh, probably is the best example of how that can really uh, affect you when you didn't expect that that's what would happen after you played this game. Hey, you, yeah, you, watching the video, you thought it was over. No, you got a job to do. Click the like button and subscribe right below. Come on, get on it now. And feel free to comment. Go ahead. Tell me how arrogant I am. Tell me how much you can't stand this or that. I'll listen. <laughs> comment away.